contrary. I think with the benefit of hindsight, Caddy, we can say that the crisis which appeared to be ending on that day was really just beginning. And when that one speaker at the parade said, you know, never again will we have an American taken hostage, unfortunately he was all too wrong. Uh, the Iranians, who were fully expecting a retaliation, both for having held the hostages for 444 days, figuring that big, broad-shouldered Ronald Reagan wouldn't let that go unanswered, and who then later were behind Hezbollah's attack on the Marine barracks in Beirut, you may recall, in 1983, 241 Americans were killed by one of the first suicide bombers. And again, the Iranians were anticipating retaliation by the United States. And what they did, as you will remember, was begin taking hostages again in Beirut, among them the U.S. CIA station chief in Beirut, a man by the name of William Francis Buckley, who was held for 15 months, tortured for 15 months, and finally killed. What the Iranians had actually learned during that experience of the hostage-taking at the embassy was that because Americans care so much about the individual, that what is an American virtue can be turned into an advantage for our adversaries. And many of them over the past 30 years have used that to their, uh, to their advantage and our disadvantage. And Ted, what are the moments